What was the main reason for going with the Kenworth? Was there any trucks, other trucks considered? Um, uh, we did look at Western Star. Um, I was pretty impressed, impressed with the Western Star when we went and looked at them. And uh, yeah, it was probably more of a resale value than I looked at it in the end. But um, Kenworths are pretty well proven around around the area for the uh, type of work we do. So, um, and, and the back up and that, and, uh, and uh, had a few little little issues with the truck so far, and uh, South Bank have just been awesome um, to deal with. You know, there's uh, nothing's been been an issue with them. You know, they've um, stood by their product. You know, uh, if the product didn't sell itself, their their back up and uh, service certainly would. So Matty, this is the K104, oh no, sorry, K108 model, right? Uh, yeah, they call this uh, K108E, which is uh, uh, before the AirBlue model, which is uh, effectively known as the K200. Um, got an EGR, um, 16, uh, 615 horsepower engine, 18-speed uh, road ranger, manual, uh, 4.56 diff ratios. Craft logging gear, a bit of craft uh, four axle, 5.85 wheelbase, uh, they call a, a drop gooseneck trailer. Yeah. I see the craft trailers seem to be quite popular with the local logging guys. Uh, yep, they, they seem to be getting more and more uh, popular as the um, craft trailers have been around for a long time. Um, built in Rotorua. I had a craft trailer previously that I brought off an existing contractor. So it was, oh, I think it was about eight years old when I brought it, so it probably seen the best of its life. But uh, it was such an awesome trailer. We we hardly had to do anything to it. It was uh, pretty well built. So that's why we went back to crafts, and uh, they're quite quite good uh, good people to deal with. It's pretty much a small family outfit, and uh, yeah, they give a bit more of a personal touch on things. Good old engine fan kicking in, but she's just done a fair bit of work, hasn't it, up that oh, pipe? Oh yeah, she's pretty steep pitch coming back there, but yeah, she didn't drop into the low box, so it's all good. Impressive. Sounds bloody great anyway. Yeah, it's the, um, I suppose one of the best features about the EGR engine, which isn't too many, is uh, the sound they give out. They uh, can uh, give out a pretty impressive sound at the right range, but yeah, it performs alright, you know, like... Uh, um, definitely not as good as those E5 motors on the newer trucks, but it's uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. 